Hi you guys, it's Yvonne. I'm getting ready to take my dad shopping. He's had his COVID shot so he can finally go out shopping. We, he still wears his mask though. Anyways, of course I'm gonna pick a grocery store that's next to a thrift store, right? So, um, oh, I thought maybe I'll show you a couple things in my bathroom that you might find interesting. Hang on. The eldest daughter got me that. I think it's Bed Bath & Beyond, but isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And of course the little smiley earrings that um, my cousin's daughter made me, those are adorable. This is a very high-end piece of glass. This is just a picture. <laughs> I can't afford that, but oh my gosh, if I ever find anything like it, I'm just gonna be so happy. All right, so I will see you guys at the Goodwill, okay? I'm gonna get Pops ready. Bye-bye. Okay, we made it. Pops made a beeline. He hasn't got to come to the thrift store for like a year and a half, so. He just grabbed a card. I could barely get it clean and just made a beeline. So let me mask up and we'll go shopping. Okay, so leaving the clothing section from saying hi to you guys in the mirror, I'm going to look at all the scarves. That's kind of cute, made out of wire. So we're, oh, wait a minute, hang on. Hang on, I like this already. $2.59, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Let's get that. Okay, scarves. Oh, wait a minute. I see it. I see it. You guys probably saw it before me. Oh, nice little velvet burnout piano scarf type thing. $1.99. And look at those tassels. Yes. Need to be careful on that wicker. I'll move it in a minute. You guys, let's finish this. Not bad. Oh, there's a nice purple. I look for myself too. I think I have this color. <laughs> I have so many scarves. It's one of my accessories of choice. Let's go see if there's any more, if they found any more um, sweaters. You know, this is where I got all those sweaters last week. The Quacker Factory and what else? Um, help me, Storybook Knits. Let's go see. Ha, guess what? I found another one. <laughs> yeah, oh, that one's a nice long tunic length with little delicate lace and beaded butterflies another story but knits hopefully it's still the good price $7.99 that's okay and look at these delicate sleeves hang on little bell sleeve with an opening Let's see if I can come in closer on that detail that's pretty yeah we'll get that one too someone's gonna love that one that longer length yes Oh, hey, I found an abalone shell on the top of one of these rounders, and it's only $1.99, and it's quite large. So that went in the cart. So I looked at all of these, and I didn't see that's the only one, but that was definitely worth double-checking, right? Okay, so let's move on. So checking the jackets, because remember, we found one, and I just like to check jackets and blazers, but look. I bought the outer sweater that matched this last time. Yes, it had these little dangle beads on the bottom of the sleeve. I don't know if you guys remember. That's not one, but it's cute. $3.99. Yeah, that's, that's going to be cool. Add that to it. Now I have a two-piece set for that. Oh, look at this wool rich. That's not bad. With the sheep on it. $4.99. You guys, let me look through this. It's a little boring just to hear the hanger scraping, okay? I promise I'll tell you when I find something. Okay, before I leave this section too, I looked at all the rounder tops, nothing, you guys. Um, but I was looking through jeans, and I think I want to get these. They're a size too big, but I think I can fix them. You know, I sew. I always have, but... If not, I'll just upcycle them somehow. They're bongo skinny stretch, but I love... The jewels don't love the back pockets i'm a real stickler for back pockets and how it fits the booty like most of us girls are and pockets make a huge difference the size and the placement so i might do something i might put some tapestry or something over there but i think i'll get these for me those, are, those look fun i can replace the one that's missing there 
but while I was looking in here as well for something interesting or a good name those are interesting what are those next jeans boot cut okay this this is hilarious some new old stock Gloria Vanderbilt these jeans these and Calvin Klein were all the rage when I was in high school <laughs> If those, I don't know what they're doing in size 10, because those are like a four. I would get those if they were a little cheaper and if they were a little bit bigger. Some of you will remember that. Okay. Oh, what's this? <laughs> High-waisted. Stars and stripes and flags. That's cute. I don't like that cut. That doesn't look like it's going to fit anybody nicely. Okay, I didn't quite make it out yet. These caught my attention. This over dye from the 90s, that's going to trend again. Um, I heard it from the millennials that are fashion forward. They're going to trend this again. Um, this is not even close to my size, but I think I should get these. They are high waisted. I'm going to get these. I think I'll be able to flip these. And if not, I'll upcycle them for myself. How much are they? $5.99? Yeah. So again, do you remember the over dye? Depends on how old you are. Some of you might not remember. But that was a big thing. And it's got embroidery. That's too cool. We're going to do that. I almost made it out, but that's cool because that's a good find. I like it this size 22 oh those are cute like an angel little stretch i love black floral i don't know if it's still going to trend or not to me it just always is good that's a plus size only 5.99 stretch ponte oh my those are adorable i might get these too let me check them over for flaws i'm back on the very edge <laughs> still working my way out of the clothing saw this velvet okay this is a cold water creek size eight now it's a black velvet duster and it has some nice painting on it and a little glitter touch and some really cute buttons and it's painted on the black on the back too and it flares out just a tad i buy things like this especially when they're like johnny was um oh i can't remember the name of one that i kept myself it's so awesome and embroidered uh, but this is good enough. It's not the most epic of, I've ever found, but it's only $8.99 and it is good enough. Someone will like that. Sorry, it's not showing up very well. Okay, in the cart and moving on. Okay, next section, checking the rounder tops. I promise this time I would let you guys do it with me. I try not to look at clothes and get distracted because I can come back and look at clothes later. Hard goods are a little more important to me. Oh, some little little box of kabuki mask. $4.99. Never had anything like that. Let me check that out. $4.99 for the elephant. Looks, looks vintage, doesn't it? Well, I did it. I spotted velvet. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta look at that. Velvet burnout. It's a little bit older style dress barn who I think is now out of business in most locations if not all. $4.99. That's a maybe believe it or not even though it's dress barn. It's the fabric. We're gonna go over there. Okay I made it. We are at vases. Nothing else was on those. Here I'll turn around. Nothing else was on those rounder tops. It wasn't even worth showing you guys. I'm like I don't know why I should show you stuff it's just like we're not gonna buy <laughs> I mean unless it was something that was cool and broken but still had value and I would show you but I did find this um Gambina doll she's only $2.99 these are from New Orleans she's a cutie they make all kinds of themes but she's a cutie I'm going to get her definitely um, I see them sell anywhere from five dollars to thirty dollars I think this is a more desirable so one so definitely gonna get her do both her eyes work 
Yes, awesome. One's a little blinky, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, vases. Well, Prince is blaring in the background. It's kind of busy here today. Somebody's home project. Interesting though. Right. Yeah. Another interesting studio project. Four ninety nine. Yeah. Right here is where I found those two Sabino glass hands. I still have one. I sold the other one for four hundred and fifty dollars. They were right in here, just dumped in there. Whew. If you don't know what I mean by Sabino glass, you might write that down and look that up so that you know what it is. All right. I'm not interested in baskets. I don't see anything to even run up on because I'll be going to the bins next week and that's where I usually get really great deals on baskets. So we're gonna switch aisles. Photos and frames. I usually just take a quick peek. This is what a lot of people do with broken um, ceramic dishware and stuff. Just a quick peek, scanning. Anything interesting or anything I might want to use for like display purposes. They put the art art against the Not wall. Not seeing anything, you guys. But took you with me. Next aisle. Here we go. Glasses. Their windows are over there, so it's a little bit of a weird glare. I hope that's okay. Looking for any unusual lead crystal. Of course, we're always looking for fire and light. I just sold my last two pieces. Those blue cups that I got off of eBay from someone else who didn't know what they were, even though they were marked, you guys, for $27, free shipping. I put them up on auction finally last week and they sold for $315. But I had a few people say, just show us why you're looking. That's what we want to look to. I'm like, okay, but I feel like some of this is boring. I usually just wait till I find something cool to talk about. This is just what it looks like. <laughs> up and down the aisles and up and down, ceiling to floor. I'm tall so I get down there so I don't miss anything. Oh, it's a Batman. I thought it was Statue of Liberty and that's one of the things I like to use in my branding too. Yep, that was it. I didn't pick out anything. Okay, didn't pick out anything from the mostly clear glass section. Okay, next aisle, nobody's in it, awesome. Music's blaring, so I'm gonna chat, okay? About nonsense, probably, <laughs> just so that we can cover up the music. Although, oh, I meant to get these last time. Whew, I'm glad they're still here. I was taping them, filming and untaping and looking, and then I totally forgot. Somebody must have talked to me or something. This, these will sell for a little bit. Kelly Roberts. And since, I mean, they're 2012. They're for Silvestri by, I don't know how to say that, Dem Daco. Anyways, that artist that has lent some of her artwork to home decor, which is very common for a lot of um, artists to do. Kind of glad those were still here because something happened and I spaced it. Done missing the lid. I'm really careful with Ray Dunn, it's just your generic Ray Dunn. Your generic Ray Dunn's just not selling that for that much money right now. Fresh homemade, it's ceramic, but it's got like a little paint swirl going on. Fresh homemade, Telefloor. That's pizza. Most of those smiley face mugs I get are Telefloor. <laughs> I like this. 
It looks new, but it's got some crazing on it. Home Essentials. It's only a dollar ninety-nine, but that's cute. <laughs> we got company, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. They breezed through pretty quickly. They were just kind of having fun, chatting with themselves. Teddy bear. Any fire and light, please? I sold my last one. <laughs> I'm ready for some more. It's cute. I'm going to turn around. Look at the plates. Right off the top of my eyesight, I'm not seeing anything that I want to pull up on. Maybe one item, just because I like the shape of it. Oh, hey, there's Pops. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Say hi. <laughs> He's got, wait a minute, I'm gonna come up. He's got his only Jesus hat on. And when my husband takes him walking, he'll always text me and go style point. And what that means is somebody said something about grandpa's hat. <laughs> so he gets style points for that hat all the time when he goes out. All right, next aisle. Okay, the knickknack aisle. And then jewelry, and that's probably it. This doesn't look very full today. I've sold these before. I think I've told you guys. $1.29. Um, they're little citrus or garlic graters. I'm not getting a good feeling today from here. Looks a little sparse, y'all. <laughs> I think I remember this from the Halloween section at the grocery store. Which when they, the grocery stores get done with their holiday stuff, wow, they really mark stuff down. Like Walgreens does too. Yep, I didn't think I saw anything when we pulled up. Just some more inexpensive glass. I do sell things like this out of the booth, you guys, but I'd rather get it from the bins where it's like super cheap. Like, you know, under a dollar, I've been getting it. I sold one of these with a blue tint at the booth for like eight dollars or so. It's just you know cheaper stuff. So see here it's three forty nine, but I got it at the bins real cheap, and I just put it in my booth you know to have. Um, I don't know if I get points or not. It's not. It's my friend's game, <laughs> Jocelyn and Dagny. But there you go. I'll give it to either one of you that needs it. Um, what was I saying? See, I babble because I try to hide the music. Well, that's interesting. Wow. Hmm. $1.99. Darn, something's missing. That's unusual. I would have probably got that. Kindness matters. Yes. Sure makes life go a lot easier. So as I've gotten older, I really tried to teach, you know, like to temper myself. Now, uh, I confessed the other day when someone left a comment about how nice I was. I did confess, you know, hey, that's because you all don't want to see me, you know, be rowdy or sad, right? <laughs> but um, I can get a little rowdy when I get upset, you guys. <laughs> There's some proof on the internet, too. <laughs> but I try to catch myself and make corrections. That's really cute little sisterhood thing. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to jewelry, but I did check on those Kelly Ray Roberts plates. Um, the plates seem to be selling, offered up for about, oh, let's just say average $10 a piece. No one really has a set. And then I looked at her other items, you know, cause she does artwork and dolls and plaques. And some, some of the things sell for like 25 to 30 and a few other rare pieces for even more. So I think I'll take a chance on these for $5. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, made it to jewelry. That vintagey looking blue and white circle pin is interesting.
I do kind of like that hummingbird, but then chain's a little too bright gold. Let's drop down and look at bracelets. A couple interesting pieces, mostly to me is that acrylic and black chunky pyramid one. All right. So I was just here last week, you guys. This is where I found that gold piece, right? So I don't really see anything else for today. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a little bit of fun. Bye-bye.